みんなさんバンパニャマンみなさんグーマーニン<笑> Oh my goodness Everyone's so ready in here <笑>わやべえ何してるわなんであ、oh, I've got blue suddenly なぜなぜ How's it going, Sneaky? We live, baby. It is going good. Heck yeah!、Right. Am I coming in loud and clear? You are coming in loud and clear. For some reason, I am now blue. I haven't figured it out yet. I am indeed blue. We're figuring it out one step at a time. No problem. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. There we go. Why the heck did that change? <laughs> louder, than, louder than me. I'm trying to be quiet.、I'm、trying to be quieter. I don't want to get I don't want to get in trouble. Um, Okay, hold on a second. Boop, 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 boop. Da da. Everybody, if you don't know them, this is the Lun, the only. This, the lovely sneaky bear. Hello, everybody, and good morning to you. I hope you're having a good day. I'm sucking on,、um, on a throat candy and everything because my, my, <laughs> my throat's already not doing so hot. This is going to be a really interesting collab, I think. Today, we have one thing and one thing only to try and succeed at. Does everybody know what this is? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I got alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. The a v i o l a chill. Indeed. And for those of us who aren't freaking nerds like my, my mod, Kazuma san, yeah, we were rolling our R's today. We're going to go. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get that, that nice, you know, tumble into a, a <gasps> sensual Latin purr. <sighs> That, that's, that's the closest I got. I can like roll the back of my tongue. Like very German like.、Okay. I can like. It's、okay. basically just gargling. <laughs> oh no. Well,、okay. it's a start. It's true. It is a start. Real Elf! <gasps> good morning! It's so lovely to see you! Oh my goodness! A tidy good morning! And of course, my lovely mod Kazuma san. Good morning! Tidy good good morning! Tea! Good morning! My wife, good morning. Ah,、oh, bit bit, good morning. Ma, ma. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely time. A teacher drinking on the job? I mean, is it really all that? Is it really all that strange? I gotta be real. I don't drink on the job every B, but I, can, I feel like it some days, that's for sure. <laughs> Man, are you kidding? I've trained people how to make pizzas while a little inebriated. I've taught people plumbing while a little inebriated. It's,、wow. it's no big deal.、Wow. No big deal. You are, you are just, maybe you're just like actually talented. You said you had,、um, you have mead and you have wine. The show? Yes. Huzzah! I, I, normally, I normally lean towards mead, but that's, that's a little sweet for me tonight. So I'm just going to go with a. A nice,、uh, strong wine. That's fair. I can, I was like, I was gonna think, I was like, um, mead makes sense because, uh, we've got a lot of honey in this hive. Oh, yeah. And, and, and that's why course, I love it. I'm be bears and bees, everybody. everybody. It's true. It, it, it makes the best kind of partners. And how is my local goddess pretending to be a normal VTuber today? Wow, I've trapped Magnus Carlsen in my basement and he's teaching me how to play chess every day. I hope you're ready for the collab on Wednesday, Taiji. Haha, -ha, get it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Today I'm good. I woke up and I actually ate. I'm very proud of myself. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. Da, 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 da. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm, I'm a little sleepy, but it's okay. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it good. Thank you for breakfasting. I try my best. I try my breast, is what I was going to say.、Um, that didn't. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. It didn't come through, but yeah, here we go. I, I like to not lie to people. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Good job. Sneaky, sneaky. What are we doing、yes. today? How are we doing this today? What, what do you think? So, so、um, I like intuitive teaching.、Mm. Like, <clears throat> find something that makes it natural, you know, that、ah. just feels natural and that it 
like slowly will come out little by little. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the like. All right, place your tongue like right here in your mouth because I'm not. I'm not gonna reach into your mouth and position your tongue for you. That's, that's a little. That's a. That's, that's a little intimate. It's a little intimate. <laughs> Elsa, you're not beside me right now. You can't see my mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Wow, I haven't actually like sat down and taught anyone like this oh, for a long time. That's fair. So, uh, you can slightly roll R's. Uh, you said mostly in the back of your throat, like mm. a German kind of like guttural. Yeah, like a sound. guttural sound. Yeah, I can do that. Gotcha. Mm. All right. Not to say anything about the German language. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful language. Mm, uh, mm, yeah. Mm. So, uh, just you know, for anyone else in the chat too, you know, like please. I don't mind being intimate. Yeah, I was gonna say, Ryuf is already uh, flirting with you hard. <laughs> Ryu, don't you worry, I'll get to you soon. Um. <laughs> I mean, you have a really, um, you have a really very, like, uh, calm, like, your voice is very, like, it makes me feel safe. I don't know what, the, what it is about it, so I can understand. Yeah. I, I try to. Uh, so, uh, this is also for anyone in the chat who, you know, also is having trouble rolling their R's mm -hmm. or wants to just hone their skills, find easier ways to practice on your own time. Um, mm. So yeah, it's not some sort of magic trick. Uh, with time and a lot of practice, it can sound like magic, but it's just a skill, like riding a bike. <clears throat> like riding a um, bike. Okay, I can ride bikes. I can, I can probably ride two bikes. I can ride bikes. If I can ride bikes, can I roll my arms? <laughs> if you can, can you tell I'm desperate? You... Can you tell? <laughs> if you can dodge a ball, you can roll your arms. <laughs> can you dodge a ball and roll your arms? I could probably try and do it at the same time. <laughs> tell it. <All> right. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, Hi. first, Hi. Uh, I'll just have, you know, obviously you know how to say D, right? Yeah, D. Yeah, D D D D D D D. Hi, Exactly. Like right in the front of your mouth. We're gonna focus right there. All of the work should be there. Hi, got it. Yeah. So to start, once you have that, like, kind of like good, like that slow, soft tapping, because we want your tongue right about there, but a little relaxed. Okay. 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 Um. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting collab, everybody. You're just going to listen to me yep. talk into it's... the microphone constantly. <laughs> this is just—it's just a bunch of noises. I love it. You guys get to just have a whole bunch of Kumo noises the whole stream. I'm sure some of you are, are wanting some of that. Kazuma-san, this is your time to go ahead and take everything for. For remixing later. <laughs> yeah, okay. doesn't Sneaky have like an incredibly chill voice? Like, 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 like you can read me a bedtime story. Like that. That sounds like you should read I've... some bedtime stories for us one day. I've contemplated uh, doing like a hey, I'll read you like a bedtime story stream. <laughs> ah. I haven't, uh, I haven't put any work into gauging interest, but I'm. I got some ideas. Well, would it be considered an ASMR stream? If you think that me going di 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 into the mic is relaxing for you, <laughs> compared with an actually relaxing voice, then yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <coughs> All right, okay. so. All right, we got the D's. Yes. Hi. All right, so <laughs> we're going to start. <laughs> no, first, we're going to say Tada. Ah, Tada. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Just try to say it kind of rhythmically. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. And then say thada. Thada, thada, thada. You should feel like your tongue on the front of, like, on the bottom of your teeth and kind of like softly tapping the, the like, edge of the roof of your mouth. Okay, we'll start with the thada. Thada, thada, Okay. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. I'm, I'm, is this in English, ta-da? Because, like, I mean, I'm, when I'm oh. in Japanese, oh, yeah, tada, huh. tada is a word, and I use like my D's in Japanese are different than my D's in English, and I mostly oh. use the Japanese okay. D. Um, <clears throat> but it's not too different, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try my best. Hi, 
Okay, we'll, we'll try with English,、uh, just because I'm not too familiar with、uh, Japanese D. Okay, okay. Okay. Tada, 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 That's that soft tap at the top of your mouth,、yes. right? Thara, thara, thara.、Uh, I need to do、um, it a little bit more. That is, is that okay? Yeah, no,、oh, take,、okay. please take your time. <clears throat> you guys just in, enjoy whatever the fuck this is. Thara, 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 thara. Oh, I can feel the, the, the tap this time. I haven't been able to、yep. feel that tap so far when I've been trying.、Yeah. Yeah, the key is don't try so hard to do like a hard roll, like rrr, you know, like you're not saying trabajo, it's trabajo. You want like just a, 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 a couple taps, you know, just to accentuate. Like, unless you're in a telenovela, you know, like Mexican, like some Mexican、uh, yeah, soap gonna, operas. Yeah, it's a soap you know? opera. I did know that yeah. one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have some background like, in French, so, like, because they're both romantic languages, it's very, there's some of the words that are similar. <laughs> yeah, a little bit,、uh, you know. <laughs> and then you really want to hit those R's like, <laughs> ¿Por qué, María? <laughs> Kawaii. ¿Por qué me fuiste? <laughs> <laughs> Kawaii. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, g o o b y I'm making noises at the microphone today. Okay, I'm going to keep going in the sada so I can feel it more.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Okay. And then as you start feeling it more, getting comfortable with that mouthfeel,、right. um, I want you to slowly accelerate it because eventually you'll. You, with that.、Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Kazuma. He dies.、Um, with that mouthfeel,、uh, what you're going to want to do is、mm-hmm. like take that and focus on that and. Condense the thara to thra, ra, ra, ra. Ah, okay. I think I might need some more time on the thada, so I'm gonna do that yeah, first yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay. Yeah, take your time, take your time. <laughs> We're still at the beginning, anyway, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna、mm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> If anyone has any other questions or wants tips while this is going on,、hmm. you know, just go ahead and ask. I'm here for. For everyone、That's、here to、true. share the knowledge. That's true. I'm, I'm literally just going to be doing exercises, right? So, everybody, please feel free to ask. Hi, Red. Good morning. Ryu, I am doing good. Thank you for asking. I was having a really rough day today at work, but I'm over here with、uh, oh, the wonderful Kumurin. Or Kumurin.、Uh, like, I've, whenever I say your name, I say Kumurin because I. I lean towards saying things more Hispanic、mm. if I can.、Mm-hmm. Just because in my brain it works. English is my first language.、Right. Uh, I'm learning more and more Spanish as I go.、Oh. Um, and so, yeah, like, I have all of the, like, the little building blocks, like the basics, so、mm. I can get someone started on the basics, but I can't like, teach you like, fluent conversational Spanish. Makes sense to me. I totally get it.、Uh, I feel、yeah. very similar with、uh, Japanese as well. Like, I don't think I, I speak very good Japanese whatsoever.、Um, I've been learning for a really long time, so my accent sounds more natural, but like, I guess the,、uh, like, the actual like, conversational part,、um, like, I mean, I can make hold a conversation no problem, but it gets hard, right? Like, like actually teaching people is like, oh, yeah. difficult.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like the actual trademark of like, Or bench, like,、uh, I should say, 
I don't know, like that milestone of, okay, I know this enough to teach someone. You know, mm-hmm. that's like deep understanding. Yeah. And I have a like deep understanding of basics. <laughs> that's why I'm nul- doing it with Dai the other street. We had a collab with Dai, um, and he wanted to learn some basic Japanese. I'm like, I've got you there. And it, we took an entire hour on trying to learn how vowels are. <laughs> Yeah, Japanese is a whole other, like, crazy beast that I don't think I'm even going to try to tackle. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. It's really fun. And oh, it sounds super cool. It... And it seems like a lot of fun to learn, but, mm-hmm. man, I don't have the patience for that. Fair enough. I mean, you're already going ahead and trying out uh, working with Spanish, right? So it's it's totally fine. You can do one at a time. Maybe if you wanted to do it later, you can do more later. But there's no, like, end to learning things. Oh, yeah. I um, could be a polyglot. That'd be fun. Right? Although, not really, because I don't have that, like, skill in me. You don't but I'll know learn that. some. You don't know that. I mean, you've already gotten this far with Spanish. There's, like, a solid True. chance. There's a solid chance. Like, you, like, add something on top of it. Like, oh, like, I want to do Portuguese because there's a lot of similarities between it. Like, I think that it would be fine. Oh, Kakuman san has a good, good point. Sure. Honestly, based off the Spanish, I learned a school. You've mastered. I think you do a lot. Oh, really? Okay. Because, yeah, like, I, I also took uh, Spanish in high school just because, like, at that point, I spoke enough Spanish uh, with my, like, my actual family um, to know that it was going to be an easy A, and it was. But, man, like, like, some of the words and ways they taught, I'm like, man, this sounds like you're speaking to an official in Spain. Like, where's the coños? Yeah, right? Like, oh my fucking god, like, looking at textbook shit, and you're like, I am only learning the most, the most, like, top-tier, super formal, very rigid language, um, which nobody uses in actual everyday conversation in the, in the first place. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like, textbook, yeah. textbook language versus, like, actual spoken language is actually a completely different beast, so I always recommend yeah. finding some friends. <laughs> I know, difficult. Touching grass is hard, but like <laughs> finding some <laughs> friends, even on the internet, to speak the language with you. <laughs> yeah, like I, I grew up uh, in like for eight oh. and a half years, mm. uh, during very developmental years, uh, in Southwest Phoenix, oh, yeah. <laughs> in Arizona. So mm, mm. it was all Latinos. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. And so I learned like Chicano Spanish, you know, like mm-hmm. I like American Chicano, and. Uh, <laughs> So I was like looking at textbook textbooks. I'm like, yeah, wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the that I know nothing with Spanish. My country doesn't have really anything with it. My original country doesn't. So for me, like uh, whenever I traveled to the states because I went to California very often, it was like my way of being like, <gasps> it's so cool, it's so in and hello bubbles is the tea bubbles. Welcome to the hive, my friend. <laughs> I hope you're ready for me to just, like, gargle into the mic the whole time. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I feel like my my the the tip of my tongue isn't as like I'm not like I can feel the back of my tongue's muscle, but the the tip of my tongue's muscle is like weak. It feels weak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's a muscle that you like haven't ever used like. <laughs> in this way so it's like i'm not expecting you to like roll your r's honestly within like a week mm. if you can hell yeah but you know this is probably something in little exercises that you'll find you know just like these are exercises mm. i do even to this day because oh. i'm i get bored easily and i need to amuse myself yeah. so i make noises i love it so I'll, and um eventually one we want to get to a like natural feel of like like bra bra you know like tingo scrap yeah that one you know yeah 
pretty much like that. Like that's always going on, and it's good that I work outside mm. up on ladders oh, yeah. because no one can hear me while I'm like 20 feet up in the air, just going scrap. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Like, I'm at the exact opposite. The exact opposite because I work at a school. <laughs> I work at school. So it's like, I have to like, I guess, sometimes I, uh, <sighs> sometimes it's like, oh my god, I'm not, I'm not bored. I just need, I just need like to express something. Like, I need to, I need to get something out of my face, like sing or something. So I'll go find an empty classroom and then just make noises at myself. <laughs> So this is what I could do. Yeah, like just practice this, and I guarantee you, this is gonna like easily get your muscles worked up and used to that feel. Got it. Okay. One sweet. We're gonna. We're still doing thada, 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 thada. Ano? What was the the next step on the thada, 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 thada? So just try to like can like mm. say it so fast mm. that you feel that natural. You feel the natural urge mm. to go ra. Thra, thra, thra. I'll go faster until there are natural urges. This is totally normal at your age. Puberty, puberty is normal. Yes, you're going. Th yes, you're, yes. you're going through tongue, through tongue puberty. Tongue puberty. Yes, that sounds right. <laughs> Um, if you feel like you're hitting a wall with Hi. the thara, the thra, 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 um, mm. yeah, the, uh, mm. you can instead use another word if you want, we can, or two words, uh, I actually had you say it Hi. yesterday on your stream, uh, just like I said, to get a gauge of, uh, where you are, uh, you can say butter wrap. <gasps> right, butter wrap, yes. Yeah. Because when you said that, I heard that you had that natural, like, soft D. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> hold on one second. One second. Ricky, hold Martin, up. So hey, hold long. up. Holy gosh, I love you so much. Thank you so much for the subscription. And Papoo! Thank you for the raid. How's it going, my baby B? Holy Hannah. I'm sorry to cut you off. Holy shit. It was oh, no, just you're all fine. at once. <laughs> Yeah, that was the butter wrap. Okay, so we got the soft D's. Yep. Yeah, I got soft D's. Yeah. I got so. the big soft D's. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> I thought you were just getting her to say butt. Yeah, that's that's also good. I mean, I'll say butts whatever. That's no problem. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yes. Sorry. Might, yes. Yeah, butter wrap. It might, it might. Yeah. It might feel more natural Hi. for you to to try this mm. because, um, you know, you say butter wrap, mm. and you know, uh, for example, like tea bubbles, uh, grow up in, uh, in Hawaii, and mm. they enunciate their T, so it's they say butter wrap. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. We have, but, you know, we have this really cool thing in English and uh, Japanese. I've been researching a whole bunch of things with this. In Japanese, we mm -hmm. have this thing called, uh, no, what is it? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, eto, it's where you get two, you have, you have two words that go in tandem and the second sound is changed in order to make it feel more natural. And easier to say. So like Ikebana instead of Ikehana. Uh or uh eto, eto, just uh just like anything changes on the second nun. Yeah, not that yeah, the ten tens are used. The ten tens are used. Uh Rendaku Rendaku, that's what it's called. And uh it means that the second sound is changed. And we have that in uh, North American English. Um, lots of North American English has that kind of thing. So, like, uh, as opposed to it, uh, in like Britain and Brit British English, where they go butter, they, they do the t -t 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 the really hard T's on the second one. We always like it's all pretty much an unspoken rule where uh, natural in North American English ends up changing at the that's in any uh, word that has two syllables. 
and a T is at the beginning of the second syllable, um, it's changed into a D. So theoretically, um, water, right? Like that's a T, but we use D. Uh, like you were saying, butter, that's a T, we use D. Skating, that's a T, we use D. All of the thing, <laughs> impossible, impossible. Button. Oh, so you use the button, the does too? Cool. That's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, like yeah, we have like... It's, it's unspoken, but it's like there. And it's really cool, and I never get to talk about it. <laughs> See, this is cool, because like I'm over here like like uh, <laughs> like the like half hung over teacher, like like attention. Alright, class, get mm. to it. Yeah. Get a swig from flask. We're gonna learn some stuff. <laughs> and you you would be like you'd have like all the notes the curriculum, syllabus, all of that down, and be like, well, I guess we're learning something today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't even pronounce the T's and button. Button. Yeah, that yeah, sounds very, I, I, that's very, very British, and I guess Hawaiian as well? Really? Yeah, I, I, I say button. Yeah, I say button. Like with a D. Anything, anything with a two syllables that it turns into a D. I love language. Fucking same. It's true. cosmos is such a big linguistics nerd. It's great. It's awesome because when I get to learn and I'm like, I don't know what this thing is. I don't understand. Please help me. And then like Kazuma-san will always be like, hello, here, it, here is the actual answer. And then I go, oh. <laughs> but there's not too much research on a lot of it. So it's like, oh, this is really cool though. It's really cool. I definitely pronounced three consonants, but I think I'm turning vowels into a schwa. Very cool. Oh, schwa. Can't remember what I say anymore because I'm changing my speech to fit in. That also is a big thing. I mean, that's a societal thing. You do that. You will do that naturally. Yeah, I definitely speak very differently uh, where I live now mm. uh, than when I lived in Arizona. Mm. Let me tell you. That sounds right. <laughs> the, 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 the code change is uh, definitely real. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, I don't, un I, I would say like, yeah, definitely. Like I'm not, I'm not American by any means, but uh, even in oh. Japan, I, um, <coughs> you know, because I live in Japan, it's like, uh, it, compared to my like, other country, I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> I, like I literally cannot function the same way in order to make it work. It's very interesting. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Some things I've taken, right. some things I still have with a local island accent. Forever weird with speech because my mom is an Aussie, some Canadian with weird Aussie slang <laughs> thrown without. That's awesome, though. That's <laughs> that sounds awesome. so crazy. Yeah, I love that. that Doesn't that make you, like, heckin' unique, though? It'd be like, oh, like, look, it's, 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 it's Rinkima. Like, they, they're, you'll know it's Rinkima at a glance. It's like, that's pretty cool, I am, though. I really like it. Mmm. Isn't it cool? That's fucking sick. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. All right. You can talk so, over me. I'm yeah. gonna just keep going. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna go with. Uh... Oh yeah. It sounded like you were almost there. It sounded like you were like just getting there. All right. Yeah, it feels good. Good. That's. That's how it should feel. Yay. Like, like I, like I said, I try to do things just intuitively, I make it like that. just a natural, like, okay, this is it, because I don't like being forced to do things. So, I just don't. I also don't teach like that. <laughs> I really, genuinely appreciate that, since I'm, I'm very much not a very logical learner. I'm a very feeling-based learner, so intuitive learning helps me a lot more. Like, I like having things in, in like. Um, I like the whys rather than the hows, you know. Yeah. So that like that I, I like I can figure out how. Just give me the like why is it like this, yeah. and I can like, you know, Frankenstein something together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's so freaking cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rinky, yep, English be like, fuck you as well. <laughs> it's true! Rinky's right, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we want, yeah, so we want to go at like a faster pace, but you don't have to like start belting, Thera. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. 
Salmon. I don't get, but the L doesn't get pronounced. Yeah, fuck salmon. Why the? Why though? Okay, but like when um, when people learn in Japan, they actually pronounce the L, and I have to unlearn them. Like I'm like, uh, no, will, no, 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 not salmon. <laughs> As the resident bear and uh, fish lover, I have to say, please do not fuck the salmon. They are for eating. I, I agree. Do not fuck the salmon. They are for eat. I really love fish. Same. Like, I... Ugh. Fish and very rare meats. That's... <gasps> we, we are two of a kind, my friend. As rare as possible when it comes to, to, to like, beef and stuff. It's so delicious. So good. <laughs> yeah. I like I I picked uh, to be a bear VTuber because you know I like bears and that's you know I, they're just amazing creatures, but uh, I'm realizing more and more oh, actually I'm kind of like a bear. <laughs> that's actually really cute though. I I like I've never felt so connected to bees before. I am not a bee. I am but a low weather fairy. And guess what? I see bees everywhere in my life and it makes me smile and I'm like, I'm gonna take pictures of the bees for my babies and it just makes me so happy. I'm not a bee! I'm a fucking weather fairy! Hello? <laughs> I'm just uh, covered in fun fact. I'm covered in <clears throat> honey because I live with y'all. <laughs> Hi, fun uh, fact it up. This is some of the scripts with English coming mixing old English, very dramatic, old French, and from both roots. Yes, Kazuma, uh, you do make an excellent point. Uh, English, uh, especially American English, does have a lot of, you know, bits and pieces from both. And that's what I find very interesting about the uh, English language. Uh, oh, also, fun fact, in Spanish, B is abeja. Abeja? Mm -hmm. Abeja. Abeja. That's yeah. that's pretty easy to remember. Abeja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> abeja. It makes me think of like Shinzo Abeja. <laughs> and like it's it's Shinzo Abe's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fuck. This is this is exactly oh. it. Like when you get a whole bunch of random language learners in a room together and we're just like, hello, this is what it sounds like in many things. Already talk uh, about octopuses? Not yet. We talking uh, about octopussy? Let's go. All right, no, so Goomerin. Hi. Uh, I will. I will give you, possibly the best thing to use Hi. on your friends and people in real life. Who, okay. at the very least, you want to victimize with this. Oh. Chat. Okay. Listen up. Hey, Kazuma. Attention. Attention. Okay. Hi. So, you know, when you're talking about octopus, mm. octopi, you know, everyone's like, oh, what's the plural? Is it? It's octopi because multiple. It's actually Greek in origin. Oh. So, uh, you know. It's uh, it looks like octopodes, but mm. with the Greek pronunciation, it would be octopodes. Octopodes. Octopodes nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking got him. <laughs> you did get me. You did get me hard. That was really good. <laughs> uh, like it's all true. Actually, all true. So this is actually like really funny. <laughs> So, you Holy know, shit. facts, facts and giggles. <laughs> yes, uh, Rinky is right. Uh, Caesar is pronounced Caesar. Or, Caesar. Yeah, Caesar. Hmm? Caesar. That's so fucking cool. Wow. Well, I. Wow. Huh. Got an ad right before we went into. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope. I hope it's okay. I, oh, oh my goodness, that's a really, that's like actually uh, seriously an amazing joke, and I'm using it, and I can't <clears throat> believe it's an actual real thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Octopodies. Um, Octopodies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, T Bubbles is actually my wife, so she's <gasps> heard this plenty of times. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, T. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for giving us the prompt because that's all funny. That's all funny. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're figuring it out. <laughs> 
Serious mode. Alright, let's So you've been doing this for a bit. Let's I... go ahead and give your uh like those muscles a little bit of a break. Okay. And uh let's switch over to the butter wrap <gasps> okay. uh, exercise. All right. Essentially you just say butter wrap, 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 wrap, butter wrap, butter wrap, butter wrap, butter wrap. Uh, just progressively faster right. and try to sing as all as quick as possible. Okay. And eventually you'll get that ra sound. You know, again, you know, this, if you can, uh, in like what you're trying to say, I don't know if it's for like Japanese, because mm -hmm. it might be for like a different. Uh, uh, I think the, and... like rolling R's mm -hmm. sounds kind of similar to me to the I, I would say Mexican to ah. the Spanish uh, rolling R. Hi. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that is actually really similar. Like, I mean, Japanese rolls their Japanese has a rolling R in like very incredibly casual like yankee speak um that yeah. i love so desperately and so i want to learn very badly also <laughs> it's because of my glasses isn't it they're so cool <laughs> no you t no you fucking uno reverse carded i'm sorry you can't be in the hive without being a massively cute bee. Look at that. Cute bee time. I'm just falling in love. Ah! Yeah. Just look look at me. I am prime example. You can't be in the hive unless you are a stunning image and paragon of Kawaii. <laughs> kawaii? Kawaii. Ka, ka, ka with a K-A. Oh. If you say K-O, oh, oh, that's, uh, that's scary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did know that. I just didn't enunciate properly. I don't I know, enunciate I things well. I know, I know. It's all good. It's all good. It's funny. <laughs> hey, okay, Quite butter fun. wrap. Butter wrap time is butter wrap. Butter wrap, 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 I want to eat the mic. It's in front of me. It's the American accent. <laughs> That's fair. It's true. They're very similar sounds. They're very, very similar sounds. Wah. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. Mmm. Kumurai no kawaii sa yabai. Kawaii sa ga yabai na yabai. Sheesh. Shut up. It's not. It's not true. You wait. I haven't even reached my final form yet. Not yet. Not, if, not even close. Who the hell do you think she is? <laughs> Did I use... <laughs> Did I use this all right? It's kind of awkward. It's kind of awkward. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't use it there. Ah, uh, no. Saw, dude. Saw, dude. <laughs> That's exactly it. Saw, dude. Ah. Uh, uh, I think she's going the gun. That's who I think she is. Uh, hey! <laughs> You don't get to see right. until you properly make all of your YouTube videos, Cosmo Song. He's making a series called Everything is Gurren Lagan, and I'm very excited to see them, but he hasn't finished working on them yet, so um, excuse me, can you finish? Finish! Hi, hi, Cosmo. Honestly, Gurren Lagan uh, has been, like, so impactful to me, and is probably, like, one of the biggest reasons why. I'm like actually alive <laughs> today. <laughs> that you will get it's, along with Kazuma very well then. It's kept me out of a lot of uh, really dark places in life. You, you know. You have done that. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Gurnlaga or Gurnlagon is like, wait, hello. And, oh, tea. Hey, I did not have to do that. Tea. Thank you, my lovely. What the heck is that? Now, Thank you. <laughs> now you get some baller emotes. Yeah, you get some really cute emotes. They're called B emotes, and they are filled with many good things, including a wiggly and a flirt that goes in a circle, which is like one of my favorites. And then uh, everything that is there is my favorite. I don't know. T makes all of my emotes, and it makes me really happy. I'm gonna bring up something that might make you um, 
here that might um hold on a second Someone hold there haha I want to show you something I want to show you something if we're talking about Gurren I saw this on my phone the other day on Movix site. Guess what's turning 15, every B? You gotta be kidding me. I wish I was because it means I'm old too, right? Oh man, I feel my bones scraping. They're bones! <laughs> They're bones! Yoko finally? Heh, no. Well. <laughs> well. Yeah, no. Ricky, that was a good one. Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> I feel the bones of my wallet scraping. I don't. I didn't actually take uh, screenshots of everything, but Cosma, you should go to. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's Movic.jp up there. Yeah, she's 14, by the way. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Now the the series is older than Yoko Jan. Pre pre teacher. I feel so bad for her. Her arc is so sad. Like genuinely. Yeah, she for gets, real. She gets dicked hard. That sucks. It just sucks. But yeah, good and like, good. and like no good way no, to. No, <laughs> no, like not at all. It's like, oh, she's like, she's like, oh uh, no, she gets like fulfilled after um after ending up going to uh like you know she becomes a teacher and all that jazz. Like everything about this is fucking d tragic, sad, almost like the whole anime yep. is tragic or something. Yeah, they they made a point. Guy Na Guy at the time the the current basically most people from. Uh, Trigger, yeah, they they made us a real, real good masterpiece there. I'm glad that yeah, they, they they ruined my life for a good while. Not gonna lie, <laughs> <laughs> like I was I was a horrible mess through uh uh yeah my sophomore year because mm. I fun fun fact I only happened upon uh Gurren Lagann mm. after I uh, had been given a a Walkman. Uh, it's oh. it, it, it it could. It had a, it was like a pretty good quality one. It had MP3 and MP4. Mm -hmm. So there was like all of Good and Lagan. There was all of, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like there's like a bunch of death battle things too. Oh, like wow. I also got introduced to the Chiodos, which is, I think, like in Washington based, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> that, and I was like, hold up, there's an, I can watch anime on this? That's awesome. And so, like, <laughs> That's all I did. Like, even in school, I had my like my Walkman charge, and I would just have my headphones in, watching Gurren Lagann, and I had to s not cry during class. Oh my too. god! That no. was that. Honestly, that hurt so bad. Trying not to like, just like, all right. So, I like I like joking around and uh, clowning on the whole like alpha, like like sigma, giga chat, or yeah. like, turbo chat, yeah, like yeah. male. Yeah. You know, like like I breathe testosterone, hmm. like. Like straight up, if it's a really good story and I'm like in it, I I will cry my eyes out. Hell yeah! Like, oh man, and, do it. Oh. Feel them feelings. It's it's like, it's good to feel things. Like it'll go just being reminded that you can feel things. Yeah, and uh, God, that just that was painful. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it's helped me stay positive enough to keep myself out of uh, you know, like when things get a little dark or I start feeling like I'm sinking into a pit it helps mm -hmm. me keep my head above a little bit oh then now you know. <laughs> jokes on, I love that jokes on you every show makes me cry yeah I was gonna say assassination <laughs> classroom was like, like a really really tough ending to get through so yeah, yeah. cry cry baby bean no worries there you may cry <laughs> please do not yeah, fret that, yeah, that was also rough. Mm -hmm. Oof. I haven't actually finished Assassination Classroom. I just know what happens, and I'm just like, fuck, for fuck's sake, did we really have to end it like this? Did we have to end uh, it like this? Yeah, we did. Um, for Kazuma-san, this is for you. This is the, 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 the Gurren shop. There's a whole bunch of uh, posters and stuff at the bottom. Genuinely, your wallet is going to fucking cry. Your wallet yeah, those... will cry. There's this really incredible one of Viral that you're going to just die for. You are going to be like, oh my god, I need that. I literally need everything about it. I, It's the one where he's like, it's like the super action-y frame. And it's it's like covered in like crazy action line. <laughs> Kazuma Taichi, thank you for that. Call him a Taichi's wallet. Fuck you for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also like... Really, oh, I'm looking at these posters now. Dione, but, they're 
gorgeous. Like the like the one thing that actually hit me harder than anything else mm. um, was uh, Viral's dream. Yeah, God, like fucking that, damn. Like it was like I uh, fortunately I wasn't in school at that point because it was I remember how hard it hit me. Mm-hmm. You know, like oh my God, I was I was a a good wreck for like a month afterwards just like oh my god that's so sad Viral is just like like I mean Grand Logon is just like a genuinely just like this like a really tragic story in general for me yeah. for me definitely I had um like I, I watched it like uh right after it came out and I remember being like why isn't anybody like going full in on this yet and then, yeah. and then the Yoko craze happened, and I was like, "All right, let's go." <laughs> but like, everybody's like, "Oh, cool, hot, big titty waifu," and you start with that, and then at the end, it goes into like, "Oh man, like, uh, uh, I, I wasn't expecting the fucking feels train." Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. It hits you like a balled up galaxy. <laughs> hits you like galaxy shuriken, yeah. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen Garen Lagan, you have to. You have to. Yeah, like, it's, for people who don't, like, care for things being, like, raunchy or whatever, it's, it's raunchy, because, you know, Gynax. It's, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's who old they are. Gynax, too. Old Gynax, yeah. yeah. But, you know, like, genuinely look past that, the philosophical things it brings up about, you know, like, uh, religion, mm. and even, like, not even like kind of it as a topic you know your relationship with that your relationship with the people around you Mm. like as a human as a singular human for humanity it's oh it's so deep and even on rewatching it i've you know i still pick up new things like they that was a master class in like hiding deep like philosophy Mm. like and tragedy with explosions (laughs) <laughs> yeah, with explosions and action and fun. Like, I think that uh, Grand Lagon gave gave us a lot of, like, an, um, like a reminder that even the toughest people can fall. Even, like, like, and, like, they put it into perspective, like, all things considered, you are but, a, even if you are a small bean, you can make big changes, and then it, it, it then takes that message and then slaps you across the face with it going but don't forget you are not fucking invincible like you are not infallible you have like you have to deal with everything (laughs) in the same way and ultimately you are only one person yep and the the world moves on without you no matter what and that's like that's like oh delicious the writing so good so good yeah are you gonna step aside and let the world go without you go on without you you know your loved ones all that Mm. you know the future Mm. or are you gonna do everything you can to get in the way and also get in your own way Mm -hmm. in life it's ah it's so good i feel like it definitely it definitely helps all of us uh uh, beans with the 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 depressed brain for sure yeah. too like as much as it's like oh man like this is like it's really heavy but it makes you think in ways that like i don't know it made me feel very motivated i suppose what are Same. we learning today what are we learning today? that grand lagan is a really incredible anime and that y'all should fucking watch it already and, and with a small side of learning how to roll my arse <laughs> yeah and this and this is also a part of it you know like mm. it this isn't gonna be like a straight stream of only like practicing and noises because yeah. Uh, You'll that's exhaust some... yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, because like a philosophy on practicing anything that I've you know learned is like, especially with like the big difference between like for example a lot of European athletes and American athletes is they'll like hardcore train then take rest days. Mm. You know, hardcore train then take rest days. Mm. Um, but a lot of a number of, I should say of European athletes. Uh, have the having is they're training all day every day because you know they're playing around you know doing bits here and there you know mm. sparring you know just you know, having fun and then like every so often they'll actually get like really focused and hone in on that skill mm-hmm. and then you know go back to you know just making it a natural 
everyday thing where it's just second nature. Yeah. So, yeah. More about just, like long term mastery rather than short term bursts. Yeah. Mm. And, and that's are where so quick yeah. to exhaust themselves and totally destroy their muscles in the same spot, in the same ways in the American style too. So I totally get ya. Yeah. So mm. cool. All right. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, I that's, was gonna uh, I was gonna say there's one that has like you know the first uh, the first half of Darling the Franks was a feels train, and then it got way too weird. I actually really enjoyed Darling the Franks. To such an extent that after every single episode, I started doing a whole bunch of lore crafting with like, oh, like the subreddit and stuff, where I would go on and be like, oh my god, like, look at how, um, like the aging system works, and there's like, um, there's a potential that it's actually destroying their mitochondria in the cells, and it's ah, just so cool. Oh, hi, Simple Sugar, I hope you're having a good time. Howdy, howdy, Mwah! Welcome to the hive, my baby! But seriously, damn it! Darling the Franks had so much potential, and then it just fucking fell apart. And I have no idea where that happened in the production process, but I'm really pissed off that it did, because they had a chance- They had a chance to really make it phenomenal! God damn it! The, it could have been the second one! We're going to space? What? That came out of nowhere? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> It's Trigger on Step. Trigger Cloverworks on Step. You expect to not go to space? God damn. <laughs> I'm right? hydrating like, for you, my sugar. Like, to be fair, Gurren Log, uh, in Gurren, mm. like, they foreshadowed it. Like, Kamino was like, hey, I'm going to go to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I want to go to there. It's like, mocking me, and I will just, and I will reach it. <laughs> yep. Exactly. I, 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 I'm. It's mocking me because it exists. Because this, the just like the fact that it exists, I must do it. Yep. F. Uh. So, uh, yeah. Simple sugar and uh, bit jester. We're practicing rolling R's. We're just taking a, uh, you know, a long enough tangent and break from, uh, the practices. <laughs> yeah. We were, we were practicing, and then we got into Ed talking about anime, and now we are talking about anime. Um, but I swear I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna butter rapping. Okay, I can I can butter rap in the background while we talk about anime. But butter. Right, cool. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, simple sugar and uh, bit jester, just to, you know, catch you up on all this. Uh, foreshadowed it by being good. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. Uh, Kum Kumarin is uh, practicing, and I'm just you know giving like methods that I used and learned. <laughs> there you go. That, that almost sounded like it. <laughs> a little, a little. I feel yeah. like it was going a little too far back. I need to use the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Well, <laughs> like. Okay. I want to say I don't know how like long your tongue is uh, like to get a little weird okay. um, you you want to keep it from like the front to I want to say like the first third of your tongue maybe even half mm -hmm. uh, you know you can play around with that because sometimes I'll like roll a little further up in my mouth sometimes it'll be a little further back just yeah I think it's, like, it's that top the uh, third that that feels really weak so it's the it's that part that i need to, to train i got okay. i gotta lift little tongue weights He wants to go in the bottom of my mouth for some reason. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> okay. Tongue length. Uh, my tongue length. Mm. I've never like, measured uh, my tongue. Yeah, like you don't need to like measure your tongue. That's not important. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like I have a, f <laughs> like I have a fairly long tongue. I think. Oh. Eh, I don't know. I guess so. Um. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 
I think, yeah, in, in general, just like thinking of it in like portions, you know, like the first third is where you're really going to want to do most of the work. You yeah. can touch it to your nose. Can you touch the tip of your nose with your tongue? Uh, my nose points like a little bit up, so I'm it's like just out of reach. I can't. I can't. Like, I'm, like I'm maybe like two centimeters away. Like just, mm, I, I don't know, centimeter maybe. Uh, like I don't know. I can lick my elbow though. I only know. No, I cannot do that either. <laughs> I don't know if it would be good exercise, but I wonder if saying- Wait. Kazuma-san? <laughs> really? Do you think? I can't read that, so it that says, maybe. It's arara, oh. arara, 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 arara. There you go. Like, it's- arara, you're, you're, arara. Kind, you're like, mm. kind of getting it. Mm. You just need to let- You build up that muscle, mm. and you will roll your R. Like, yeah, no, Cosmo, you're you're on the right. You're you have the right um like exercise in mind, because essentially it's yeah a quarter sec. You got you just it. Want you, it. You did it for a quarter sec. <laughs> really? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're getting there. Like, ah. see, it's it's like it's a stacking of simple tricks mm. to build up that muscle. You're you're trying to like bench press you know 200 when you've never bench oh. pressed before. Like, of course, you're not gonna know. Like, it's not going to feel right. You just got to get it. You'll mm. be okay. <clears throat> okay. I have to just keep practicing. I think that it was like, um, so, so he wrote Araragi and, uh, Araragi has, um, uh, obviously Ara in it. I was mm -hmm. like, are you trying to get a free Arara, 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 ara, you know, are you trying to get a free uh, Ara, Ara? Out of we take book? those. <laughs> well, since, since our redeem is really, really expensive, we would take those. And think, okay, I am hydrated. I hydrated for you, T. I hydrated for you. And I stretch. I stretch. Shrimp back, not allowed. I need to buy a fucking... I need to buy a chair. I need to buy a chair. Enjoy your lurky padurky, Ryu. Yep, enjoy your, enjoy your lurk, Ryu. If I wanted one of those, I'd just bench sun drops. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It just seemed... It seemed very... Sneaky. <laughs> There's this lovely anime called Durarara, and it actually oh, is D R R R, right? It's just yep. it's supposed to be pronounced D and then rolling your R's. Yeah, Durarara. So, yeah, but like it's like you roll your R's. It's like that one. Like yep. that, yeah. And it's like, wow, so Rinky. cool. Rinky. I try and do it. Uh, I have a lovely viewer. Her name is Renessa. And so I try and go, Renessa, because it's hilarious. And it's real. it feels real good. Yeah. Like, yeah, when you get it, like, it feels magical when you can roll your R's just right. <laughs> mm, mm. I, I hope that one day I can do it. I've never been able to, but I really, really, really want to. I'm feeling a little bit of a thing. Yeah, that's that. Like, it may not sound right to you, but that's because we don't hear ourselves correctly. All right. So, so it's gonna probably just sound like a soft, like, yeah. There, there you go. That's. There you go. You did it. <laughs> Look at that. You're a natural. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. Can I do it again? <laughs> and that's uh, that's literally where these practices come in. You know that. Yep. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a soft roll, but you'll you'll build up to that stronger roll in time. Yep. Wait, hold on. T says I left you guys a small doodle on the on the drawings on fridge. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's so good! Dee, thank you! Oh! Dee, Dee, look everything! Oh, that's slick! <laughs> that's so amazing! I, I, that's uh, my first, like... Like, no, uh, that's actually second technically because I, uh, I forced Demo to doodle me. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's like the first thing I've, like, ever gotten. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so cool. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. It feels like a reward. <laughs> Thank you. It's so cute. Every bee, please look. Please observe. Oh, my God. It's all colored and everything. Yeah, they did that. You did that during the stream, T. How the hell do you work that quick? What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. What do you have flowing through your veins? A true, a T is is um a lovely B mode artist here. Please give them. Do you see the big shout out there? Please definitely give her a follow every B because. They are incredible, and I. <laughs> whatever, in whatever ancient Sumerian deity you've made some sort of pact with, get me their number. <laughs> like, bruh. Bruh. That's so quick it's, and so good. It's, I'm just. Oh my god. I mean, like, <laughs> like I'm. My art is pretty much like cloud and sheep. So you know, like this. This to me is magical. <laughs> I mean, I, I do a lot of my artwork myself. Uh, not the one that's on here right now. Like, a lot of the art that's on here right now, I'm not, I didn't actually do myself, which is hilarious, but... Oh my god! Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> thank you so much, T. I hope you have a lovely nap. Enjoy your nap. I know it's late for you. Enjoy uh, long naps. I... Your speedrun drawing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feature it after this. I'm gonna feature it. Thank you so I, much. I can't get over how amazing that looks. I'm so... Um, just download art yeah. skills like you're in the Matrix. Oh, yeah, I never yeah, thought about that. I got a few I got a few USB cables. I could probably make it work. I'm pretty sure that's what T did. Like, holy crap. Bione? Gotta fall dang straight. She deserves all of it. T is phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal, no, that's <laughs> that, that's a follow for me, dog. Like... Heck yes. See, we got a T bubble. So now we have... And you have the TK. And the TK is the lovely. She's wonderful. So, uh, TK, uh, let me know if your commissions are open for, uh, emotes, cuz... <laughs> They're amazing. They're amazing. I love every single thing that they, they've ever made for me. Um, I, I'm going to literally just post every single <coughs> one. Every single one. That she made. Right now. How incredible is that? How amazing is that? Just goddamn! Ugh. I wish I could give her a third, third follow, but I only have two Twitters. Instead, you just retweet all of that artwork. If you post it on Twitter, TK, uh, let me know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's like a reward. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm surprised it actually, like, went that well. Like, cause I, I've, mm. like I said, I haven't, like, taught someone how to roll R's before. I just mm. know how I would teach. Mm. So, uh, yeah. You just look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning the emote games. Always happy to draw cute little emotes. You are gen you genuinely make my life ten times better by being in it, TK. <coughs> I, hope, I hope you know. And, uh, if you are taking commissions, I know so many people that are on board with it. Please let us let us know when you are available, if you are available, uh, if you're tweeting it out. If you're not tweeting out, give me a tag. I can tag you. I want to just support you so much. You deserve all the love in the world. Mwah! Thank you so much for liking our lives brighter today. Holy Hannah. Yeah, thank you for existing and just being you. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can't get over how good your art is so fast she's so fast it's amazing i'm finding that head pad i'm sorry okay ah. head pad thank you <laughs> mm -hmm. thank you so much okay oh so sweet yeah. no you deserve it you deserve all the love now go have some good lovely happy dreams my darling <laughs> yeah. go have wonderful dreams mm. enjoy your sleep happy naps 
too easily drawn in with arguing with idiots and the internet. That's that's the that's the whole thing. You just gotta you just gotta back the fuck up and not say anything. It makes life so much easier. <laughs> See, all you have to do is like like have that like deep understanding that you are above all of them. Yeah. And you don't even feel like inclined to it. It's like this is beneath me. The I'll leave the peasants to argue. <laughs> I'll leave the peasants to argue. Yeah, that's precisely it. Like, not to say that, you know, there are people who haven't achieved more than me. It's it's just a mindset. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I have more important things to worry about mm. than uh, arguing on the internet. Like, teaching people how to roll R's. That's yeah. fulfilling. <laughs> exactly. It's fulfilling. It's filled with many R's. R -r 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 like, <laughs> this, is, this is the highlight of... Uh, this month. <laughs> well, we're only we're 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 two thirds the way through of April. I'm sure we've got lots and lots and lots of time. Yeah, we got lots yeah, of time. Right. I got distracted let's just skip by TV in the same. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Mm-hmm. Do you have any practice words practice words for other vowels? What do you mean by that, Cosmos? Is there a thing that you're looking at doing? <laughs> Uh, not off the top of my head, but if you have an idea of what you'd like, I can try to piece together something for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty decent at, you know, I mean, uh, not to get too, like, full of myself, because I really hate that, but mm. I, I like teaching. Like, I, like, no matter what I've done in any occupation, mm. I've always felt that draw to share, to teach. Nice. So, you know, I can I can at least pull something out of my butt. Heck yeah. Sometimes improvisation is definitely, definitely, it's like one of those skills that you never really think you have, and then you're like, I've thrust myself into being a VTuber, and now everything is improvisation, like, 10, 110% of the time. Yeah. I, <laughs> same. I actually ran a West March's D&D &D server for, like, a, a little over a year, mm. and it was, it's not like a normal campaign. Mm. It's like, okay, there are, like, points that it's like D, &D but mmo like oh. you can get a random bunch of people i think i had like 20 people Holy active hell. at one point yeah like four people would be like hey we want to go on an adventure in this section I'm like okay cool i don't really like the secret was i never really like had the whole world figured out i was like okay cool i got some key plot points improv Mm. And they had to build the world out as I go. So it's like rendering mm. as it goes. And that was a really good practice in improv. Heck yeah. That's awesome. That's seriously fucking awesome. I didn't realize that that even existed. Oh yeah. That's uh, actually, fun fact, originally how Gary Gygax and, you know, friends mm. intended on D&D &D to be played. Because it was oh. war games. If you look at the old, like, books, it says, like, what, like three to like 20 plus players or something like that mm. because you're meant to have a party of people and they will choose like hey the three of us let's go explore this dungeon together that's a campaign Hi. and it and that and that's it yeah only only recently have they really started the more narrative driven um oh, focus on it yeah i guess so hey yeah it was really like i guess originally it just like it was based in simpler simpler ways i guess yeah yeah, yeah. we have it, a lot more like... capabilities of doing full narrative based runs now oh yeah hmm. and you know like obviously gotta throw in the obligatory there is no wrong way to play D, &D or wrong way to have fun unless <laughs> you're infringing on someone else's fun just knock it off <laughs> just go to D, &D events group just plays full of dms in different parties doing stuff yeah pretty mm. just pretty much hey jet hello yeah! I hope you haven't happy nap tonight. Oh my goodness. Hello. Mwah. Goodbye, B. Happy uh, nap. Thanks for the, thanks for the saying hi. I'm always glad to see you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna do exercises while you talk. I'm gonna do exercises while you talk. Alright, sounds good. Alright, uh, yeah. Let's do. Cosma, I'd like to do a general world building and have narrative be improv that flesh out the world. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I had like key points where there would be like a couple days of travel 
and the random encounters that I would roll would really shape the specifics of the world. And I never provided a map, like, at all. Like, they would get bonus XP for, like, making up maps and, you know, sharing information with each other. Um, so, like, a lot of the legwork was taken off me, fortunately. <laughs> and it's, it, it was a very easy way to DM because it was player driven. It wasn't all the work on me. So definitely, uh, if you manage to get enough people, it's yeah, because uh, Matt Colville in a, in a video actually made the point really clear. Like after a while, D and D campaigns are okay. We just get together on this day for these many hours for this story, and people just get like really comfortable with that, and then players start losing motivation. <clears throat> so if you keep them motivated, but like, hey, there's a rumor that there's like some treasure or a weird noise or an event happening in this general area, the player's gonna be like, hey, we're like the best equipped, let's go check it out. And whatever treasures we bring, we'll bring back to like the safe hub world where nothing happens because if, you know, that's just like the start, then any treasures that they're not using, lower level players can use to adventure out and just like interact with each other and get little like social things going it's super it can be super involved and sneaky, it was super cool he's gonna take it i need to i need to go get the door give me a second oh you i need to get the door you yep. keep talking keep talking is this radio now go. <laughs> okay. oh easy uh bra 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 <laughs> No, just DM has decent dungeon generation tools in the back. Uh, yes, it does. It does have decent uh, dungeon generation tools. I never really used it, um, which I, I'm kind of kicking myself for. No, one time I did use it, and it was actually pretty, uh, pretty interesting. It, it gives you a good like skeleton to work with, and you can flesh it out more like as you want. Yeah, uh, Cosma. Uh, I think you followed me on Twitter. At some point later, if you want to chat, shop, like I'm more than willing to, like, throw ideas and info back and forth, because I want everyone to enjoy it. And it's like doors. It's just so I get around doors. <laughs> doors? Um. Doors? How do you get around you just, doors? Doors. Uh, just. Open them. You know, open it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. There's <laughs> just a door in it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just beat the DC and just roll high. Easy. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, I've been in a D&D &D campaign with a Demo for like about five years now, actually. So, yeah, it's, it's so fun. Mm. Yeah. A lot of D&D really content. Yeah, frustrating. I've made. never played before. I've been a little scared. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm trying to get like a thing together where I help intro people to D&D because I like running for new people because uh... it's like I like sharing that because you can tell someone, hey, in D&D, you can feasibly, if you roll high enough, do anything. Right. And and they're like, okay, sure, I get it, but having that like moment where they're like where it clicks and like hey can i do this and you're like you know you can, like hear it in their voice that they're starting to get it mm -hmm. you're like you can certainly try roll for it <laughs> give it a That's, shot like yeah that that moment is mm -hmm. ah it's like a fine wine just tantalizing i love that feeling <laughs> it sounds it sounds fun i've been like opening up to the idea of doing it like i was invited a lot when i was in university back in the day my university of <coughs> weather fairies learning to be a met meteor biologist but like oh my goodness <laughs> i yeah i i never went for it i was really scared i i've never been nope. good with like uh no improv and stuff and so i'm like oh man i'll just be boring the whole heck and die <laughs> Not, well, I mean, at this point, you're probably best primed to do like to try it out mm. because you, you know, you have enough screws loose to be a VTuber, and you know, it's you're just a VTuber <laughs> but on paper. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's why I've been sl slowly getting interested in like actually doing it. I'm like, what's the fucking difference? 
Yeah, and I I'll generally take a lot of the uh, like initial legwork out of it by mm. pre-generating characters. So I was like, give me an archetype, and I can build it for you. Just show up, and I'll lead you through the motions, and just you know, keep it simple. I like that. Just critic yeah, I. It's just you know a hobby of mine. <laughs> yeah, Kazuma, um, if you want, like, you know, I can also give you like DMing tips. <laughs> Like, the best way to, like, learn is by, you know, just doing it. Although, it's hard because, you know, getting anyone together regularly is difficult. Um, but yeah, watch a lot of Matt Colville. He can give you a l very seasoned, mm -hmm. like, super cool DM. And who's given me a lot of inspiration. A little of Paladin died due to having a flush and never back down in the face of evil. <clears throat> yeah, it's what, if, look, if it's what the character would have done, but you're not, like harming other characters mm -hmm. or players fun like oh i'm a lawful good paladin oh there's a rogue slash like no like and if you're a yeah. rogue don't steal from your party you're being a dick yeah of course of course uh yes spelt just like that <clears throat> he's a uh heavier set guy with lovely facial hair <laughs> no idea i got it okay yeah Kazuma, and I uh think i would join that campaign for real Kazuma san is so smart Brett Ultimus. All right, Brett Ultimus. I'll check it out. <laughs> kind of like that. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, try with try with the butter wrap. See how that feels. Because for me, th uh, the thara doesn't feel too like natural. I have an easier time with butter wrap. Oh, okay. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. Butter wrap. It's like almost explosive at one point. Butter wrap. Yeah. Butter wrap. 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 Mm, magic technology, okay. This is not the thing it is. I can't come in on There you go. You're, you're building up to it. It's, you know, it's it's the baby R's. You got it's the it. Baby, baby R's. Is that Vivian? Oh, I'm crying. Holy shit, I love you. Hello. Hi, baby. It's so lovely to see you. I've been following you for ages. How have you been? Mwah. <laughs> but uh, I'm learning how to R today. I do not know how to R, so we are we are Ring. Butter up, 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 butter up,
<laughs> yeah, uh, Rinkema has a good point. Mm. Just like grow up in a Latin country. Oh yeah, forehead. Yeah, let me just let me just get on that. <laughs> let me just let me just do that. Yeah, no problem. No no fucking problem here. <laughs> butter up, butter up, butter up, butter up, butter up. I'm like the like one of the. I'm super far away from any Latin countries at all. You're making me so happy right now. No. <laughs> I mean, like I'm glad, but holy heck, I, like. Yeah, I've been following you for a long time. I love all the art. You've had a lot of, like, really cute art come out lately. I know that, uh, I think that you ended up winning a contest, uh, lately. It was, what, mm, when was it? You won a contest and I saw really, really, really cute art. I saw really, really cute art of you. And it was, it was really good. Also, you like Dragalia. I, I can't ignore you because you love Dragalia. And we both cry because Dragalia is ending. Down there. Isn't Indonesia sort of like Latin language and then that there's lots of R rolling? Yes. Yes, Indonesian does have a lot of R rolling. That is why I'm trying to learn. <laughs> Pretty much every R is rolled. Yes, they do. Gumi can say it. Yes, they do. Gumi can say it. That's why I'm trying to learn how to roll my R. <laughs> Dragalia has been lost. It's true and I'm sad. I'm in earshot. Okay, enjoy. Kazuma-san's ears! Kazuma-san's ears! Kikoemasuka! Kazuma-san! <laughs> but yes! But yes, if maybe you could roll your eyes better if you physically roll around as a ball. Hmm. I have something for that, actually. Let me just... Mm, let me just go grab it. I have something for that. Hi. Put rollouts in chat. We're rolling our R's today, so. Rollouts. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, we <laughs> I got it, or I made it for Halloween, but <laughs> it works now, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Anything. everyone, get in, your ham get in your hamster ball, loser. We're rolling our R's. We're getting the hamster ball. We're, we're, we're rolling away. Heckin' yeah. Mm. I'm getting lots of lag. Why? Why am I getting lag? Why am I getting lag? Probably all of the moving things. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. You know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know. Rolling, the Rolling road around the around the speed Pumpkin. That's what's happening. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> yes. I'm glad. Okay. Mm. Gumi. Gumi, how did you learn how to roll your R's? Hmm? Gumi, tell me. I'm sure it's just natural. Yeah, like, there's like learning around other people at the same time. Yeah, I mean, mm. it's any little bit helps. The same way as you did. Oh. Uh, by practicing? Ah. Huh. That makes me feel happy. <laughs> Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Yep. Yep. No, I've never learned how to roll my R's. I'm a weak sauce English speaker. I'm, <laughs> I feel like I barely speak English uh, sometimes. Not because I'm speaking any other language, just because I'm stupid. Rap. <laughs> 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 It's like most people, so we're all in the same boat. I like being in the same boat because it makes me feel a little less alone. Um... Especially like as an adult, as an adult, some people are like, "Oh, you don't roll your R's. You're fucking, you're fucking weird." Like, like what the heck? And I'm like, "I'm trying. <laughs> Please, no wait." <laughs> uh, but you know, like, that's why we try. Anytime someone says something that like is like any sort of adversarial towards you, just mm. hit him right back with a, "How dare you speak to me?" <laughs> just at all. How dare yep. you? <laughs> 
I yeah, like, right? you know, that, that, that whole, like, God complex, egotistical complex like, can come in handy some days, you know? Like, how, why are you even talking yeah. to me? How, why are you even speaking yeah. to me? How dare you? <laughs> you usually yeah. roll them, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah. I will switch to the first letter of the two words I'm about to say. Oh, I like doing yeah. it for fun. It's, <sighs> it's um, it's actually caused us quite a number of, uh... <laughs> Uh, giggles in conversation. <laughs> I like Tia will be though. like, mm. Tia will be going on about something, and I'm just like, like my brain oh. short circuits because it doesn't compute the mm. two words with the letters. They don't exist. <laughs> they don't exist at all. I don't. Yeah, I don't it... understand. I always used to do it for fun, like, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, who's the CEO of Xbox? You remember that guy's name? The name's <laughs> Phil Spencer. And I always call him Spill Fencer <laughs> because it's hilarious. <laughs> Spill Fencer, love him, good guy. <laughs> no, even for me, sometimes like, I, like in an instance where I mean to roll my R's, mm. it just like my tongue's like, hey, guess what? Well. No, I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I guess they're just not. So, you know, it, it's no big deal. Blah, 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 blah. Han Solo is actually a good EDM artist. San Holo, that's good. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, San Holo is really, really good. Oh hell yeah! Then that's perfect. That's perfect. Also, if you're a bass head like me, for anyone in chat, uh, right. I think it's Cap Captain Hook is another really good EDM artist. Oh, just hard freaking bass. I love the crunchy bass, like the really good. Boom, boom. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, like, like good stuff. It, it's not good enough bass if, like, if my heart stops and the music can't keep my blood flowing for me. Yeah. Garbage. <laughs> I'm so similar there. Like, it's <laughs> like, I don't want, I don't want some calm bullshit. I want some. I'm gonna rock my fucking veins out of my body. Kill him with yeah. the bass. Korosu no koto ka tanoshi. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Centipede by Knife Party? Damn straight. In fact, I love me some Knife Party, but I really like, um, Pendulum better. I am all. I know it's basically the same. I get it. But, I wish there was more Pendulum. Delicious. Mm. So good. Yeah, classic. Yeah, I'm, I'm aging yeah. myself. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Moored Fusty. T and I actually, uh, actually went to Paradiso one year. <gasps> Really? It was, yeah. It was like, oh boy, what, three years ago now? Was it two or three? I I mm. can't remember. Mm. My allergies were killing me, so oh, I no. I couldn't even really like enjoy it that much. It it kind of sucked. The camping was nice though. Camping is good. Sometimes you gotta have enough Claritin to like put it in your body and try mm. not to get into hey. a coma. Hey yo, that was 2017. 2017. Jesus, that's five years ago. That's five. No, it was like three years ago, though. <laughs> what? Digi, you're trying, and I appreciate that. I have sensitive ears, so if the bass is too loud, I can't listen to it. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I think I wrecked my hearing being in band when I was young. So, um. I can't remember. I have really poor, I've really poor ears, and unfortunately, uh. For, like, I think that I have harder time with, like, multiple noises at once. So, like, being in a crowd of people and hearing everything around it. Oh man, that's tough. That's tough. That's a sneaky, you're forgetting to add in the in pandemic years. years. <laughs> not, not. What do you mean years? We're still in March. It's just to flatten the curve. Oh, it's yeah. fine, guys. Two weeks. We're, we're, we're still in March 2022. It will be out soon enough. Yeah. It, it'll be fine, guys. Yeah, Don't even trip. It'll be fine. It's March 2020. Come am trying to cry. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, uh, the fact also, that I managed yeah. to make it overseas is uh, like a miracle in and of itself. So I'm I'm happy enough. Yeah, yeah. No clue how you manage that. To be completely honest. Uh, um, lots oh, and really lots quick. of Kazuma. time. Cosma. Yes. Uh, yes. Anyone, please, for the love of God, go to concerts with earplugs. Yes. Like you. Yeah. Oh, it's. Go. You're. Uh, yourself in like 40 years will thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I've already fucked myself over. And like, I still go to concerts here because I really like idols and I go to love live concerts and, uh, 
I love me some good earplugs, but it's it's getting tough. It's getting tough. The moment I arrived, the borders closed again. Literally the day after I got here, the borders completely closed again. I was I got here Jeez. so with like such a like skin between my teeth. It felt like Pokemon Stadium 2. It's like he got it with the skin like, like the, what is that fucking phrase again? Skin of your teeth? It's between the skin of your teeth, like kind of a thing. I'm so jealous. I wish I could see a Love Live concert. It is, it has been the best, the best few months of my life so far. <laughs> um, I've seen Liella twice for both their Star Lions concert and then their second live as well. And then I saw Nijikasaki's fourth. And then I saw Aqua's, uh, their, their ocean stage one for their sixth. By the skin of your I... teeth. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. I just, for like at one point in my life, just even if it's like just the mm. last time they ever do it, mm. I just need to go see a Pillows concert. A pillows concert? Oh, yeah. Do you I think it would happen? I, didn't, I, I don't know, to be honest. Like, I thought that like their last concert was like like over 10 years ago, mm. but I just looked again and they, I just missed a tour that they did in the that stopped by the U.S. Oh shit! And I, I, uh, I, it hurt because uh, uh, Furikuri mm. is another uh, another uh, anime that honestly, like, yes, FLCL, it, let's go. It, it put a lot of things in perspective. It made me think about a lot of things in different years. And uh, yeah, it. If you want to get, if you want to have like a decent enough understanding of who I am, like as a person. Um, without uh, ever speaking to me, listen to all of the Pillows music, mm. watch Furikui, mm. and Gurren Lagan. Yeah. That, that'll give you a solid base, or a solid foundation to start with. <laughs> and then go to Gurren Lagan and go from there. <laughs> yeah, pretty Let's much. Go. <laughs> Heck yeah! Yeah, absolutely based music tastes. <laughs> um, I feel, it feels good. Like, I mean, there's like a lot of, there's like a lot of, uh... No. Like... No, no one... No one's having a better time than us right now. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm I'm brain dead, but at least I've got this. Yeah, and you've already like begun to feel the sensation of what it's mm -hmm. like to roll your R's. Yeah. So honestly, at this point, if we cut it there, mm -hmm. you have the foundation and building blocks to play with, and give it honestly at the rate that you worked. Mm -hmm. I want to say give it like a week of just doing it in your free time, mm -hmm. and you'll be just fine. Like you'll be rolling your R's. Like no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do because uh, next week, everybody, I haven't talked about my schedule much at all because I've been, I've been, um, I, I want to say half lazy, half really, really fucking tired. Uh, and I, I need to go at like the moment that the stream is over, I'm shutting down everything. I have to take out my SSD and uh, ship it back, um, so I can get a replacement before my stream on Wednesday, um. But um, for that Wednesday, we're doing collab, and then on the Sunday, we're going to be building a Gundam again. And I think that when we're doing our Gundam stream, I'm going to be doing a lot of these exercises too. And if you're able to stop by, I will I will show you the update of me trying my best. I will try every great. day. I will try every day. You mm. said Sunday? Yeah, uh, my Sunday, yeah. your Saturday. So just oh, the same okay. time slot as today. Probably the, the hour earlier. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, Pats no, again! Perfect. Hello! Pats again, hello! Welcome! Mwah. Welcome to the hive, my darling. Uh, based anime ta taste <laughs> detected. Oh my goodness, yes. I think our taste is very, very similar. We have, like, I feel like we both kind of grew up in that same, in that same era, you know? Yeah, most um, definitely. We, we grew up in that same era of anime where, like, you know, that early 2000s vibe with, you know, yeah. FMA, and if you're watching, say, like, um, if you were watching on American television or, like, North American television, you'll see, like, things like, uh, you know, Afro Samurai and the Boondocks also come through, which were also, like, super, super incredibly, like, what can I say, uh, very they... amazing anime that were, like, like, yeah. They were so, what is it, inspirational towards a huge amount of people back then. Just incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh. Head empty, fill it with honey, please. You bet. Mm, come closer to my my titty, honey. It'll be fun. 
<laughs> they look mm, so much, honey. Yep. <laughs> like, like people who are talking about, like, I'm, I'm glad that uh, people are getting more and more into anime. You know, mm -hmm. it's great. You know, it's, mm -hmm. um, that's fantastic. But, like, I come from a time where I was watching like Naruto mm -hmm. in like, like part one of three yes. or two of three <gasps> yes. on, on youtube like on 2006 so, 2007 the part one of three yeah yeah all 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 of my music most of my music tastes like came from the naruto or bleach amvs oh my that i saw for the love of god don't <laughs> yes. think you can step to me if you have not scoured like complete cancer aids for your computer sites for anime episodes. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Like, yes. Yes. I mean, I, like, I really love how easy it is to consume anime now. It makes it a lot easier for people like us who are, like, we grew up where it was actually re really, really hard to access the anime that we wanted to watch in the first place. Oh, yeah. Um, and now kids like, can just, like, watch it. And that's awesome. I'm so glad there's, like, an entire new generation of anime fans because of that uh, accessibility. And at the same time, like, you can't help but feel, like, a little bit like, <laughs> Back in my day, I walked up two flights of stairs in order to get to my router so I could turn on the, the crazy internet with the noises and... The <laughs> and then we needed to scour the internet for parts one, two, and three, but part two would be missing, so you go to another really shady site to see if they have it. You know, like, like it's actually, some, like, it feels very, like, old school. <laughs> and, and sometimes the subtitles are in Spanish. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I absolutely get it. I, I really do. <laughs> That's exactly it. Like, <sighs> like, 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 kids getting into anime nowadays don't, ha like, will never have to, like, have that dreaded conversation of, why are there random pop-ups of anime titties on the on the family computer? Like, I don't know. Like, viruses are a weird thing. I, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I've had to get, I didn't have internet the online viewing uh, landscape had improved. Well, yeah, I totally understand you. I used to, like, I... It's probably different, because I got internet when I was, like, around 14 years old. And, um, that was still, like, the time where we'd see, like, the part one, two, three. But even before then, I would, like, go to the library and watch it on their YouTube. Oh, my I'd God. I remember the going to the library. Of, oh, do you know, like, the old key animes? There's one called Air. Be before Angel Beats, before, before stuff like that. And Air, I watched the entire thing at the library bawling my fucking eyes out as you do with most key animes at the library <laughs> hmm. i can't say i've ever seen it but i will definitely look into it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh my goodness it's it, it's like another one of those tear jerkers like i cannot believe like oh uh, so crazy air i read the manga yes oh my god it's it's, it's i remember like anime. trying uh, i remember when i was in uh sixth grade it was the first time that I actually read, uh, like, uh, Naruto. Mm. It was uh, when they were on the the bridge. It was like early, <gasps> early, early. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, I'm like, wait a minute, like, this is like what I watched when I was in fourth grade with my friend on the TV. Yeah. But there's they have books. Like my mind was absolutely blown. And I'm like, wait, I could probably find it at like the library, right? So I went to the library and I didn't realize like they uh like. Or whoever organized the uh, manga didn't do a good job of like properly sorting it. Mm. So I got exposed to a lot of. Um, oh yeah, you get the 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 the, the explicit shit at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, all right, cool, uh, Naruto, Naruto, cool. Oh hey, what's this? This looks interesting. Mm. Like, like all elves will be. There's a lot of titties here. <laughs> what? What was it? What was the title? Ah, uh, let me let me look. Hold on. Okay, uh, while you're searching, uh, Cyber 6, what a goaded show. Jesus, I wish I could. <laughs> ah, man, I want to rewatch that again. Elreka 7, still IMO is good. If anything, for the fucking music, it was insane. Um, I enjoy the concept of De Detective Conan. It is so, there's so much Detective Conan that it's literally impossible to get through at this point. But right now, at 7 Eleven in Japan, there's like. A whole bunch of Detective Conan, like for the newest movie, like there's a whole bunch of like clear files and stuff that you can get by buying ice cream. It's like the best. And 
uh, if you missed an episode on Toonami or Saturday morning cartoons, I didn't see the episode. Yes, absolutely. I, um, I like to tell the story about how I got into anime all the time. And the answer was I lied to a girl. I lied to a girl because I was going, I, I was at, I was at my lovely little, uh, Weather Fairy Elementary and I, I made it to the bus late. So I was one of the last people on the bus and I had to sit with one of the kids from a different school that they picked up before us. And they, oh, I crashed of course it crashed it always crashes around this time one hour and 45 minutes in they always crash um it's okay i'll reopen no problem and then um basically what ended up happening was i went in to i, I went in sat beside her and she's drawing something and as she's drawing i was like what the hell is that like you know it looks cool and i was like what are you drawing she's like do you know inuyasha i was like I didn't know Yasha. And I lied. And I was like, because I wanted to talk to her about something, I was like, yes. Yes, I do. I know it, Yasha. That's no problem. Yes, I do. And she's like, did you see the last episode? I was like, no, I didn't. And she's like, oh, let me tell you all about it. So she did. And it was great. And she told me all about She told me all about it. And it was amazing. And, um, oh my goodness. She got so excited. And I got so excited, and I was like, when? When is it usually on again? Can you remind me? And, uh, she was like, oh, it's, uh, oh, it's, um, it's on Friday nights at 10. I was like, okay, sounds great. And, and, uh, not that week, but the week after, I was, like, on the couch with my mom. And Mama Weather Fairy was going through, and she's like, I think I'm gonna go to bed. But I saw the word Inuyasha on the television. It was, like, halfway through the episode. I was like, can I watch that? And she's like, yeah, sure, I'm going to bed, though. And so I started watching Inuyasha, then and there, fell in love, became a weeb, and the rest is history. That All right, so <laughs> I found it. Yes. <clears throat> God, I'm gonna have to clear my... I should have gone incognito. This search history. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have to type in some weird stuff. Oh, no. Uh, anyways, it's called Those Who Hunt Elves. Uh, if, I guess technically my first isekai, uh, a show about three random people who strip elves naked. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Like, so they got isekai to a world and like, okay, we got to go back. And they're about to. But something happens with the ritual and the magic goes berserk and manifests itself as five arcane sigils tattooed onto five elves across the land. And there's no way of knowing which elves have the sigils. So they just have to go and like try to disrobe as many elf or elven women as possible. That's fair. And uh, like for for the theme it was, like there were some, you know, more all right, for someone who was in uh, oh shoot. Like middle school, there was a lot more skin showing that I needed to see. Oh yeah, fair but, enough. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, it's and there was a couple other adjacent to that that I can't remember, but yeah, no, a lot of etchy. A lot of it. It's <laughs> like, very etchy. I mean, Those Who Hunt Elves was, like, literally just about... About, like... You know... You, you gotta strip the elves because they've got spells on their skin that you need to learn. Right? Jesus. Yeah, that's that's the anime. And also, Tea Bubbles, oh my goodness, yes, because the opening and ending songs would always be like way louder than the actual fucking show itself. So you'd wake up to them. <laughs> it's so true. What a blast from the past. Jeez, there will never be days like that again. I mean, I live in Japan right, it, now, so you can actually watch anime at night if I really wanted to, but I don't. All right, so it was always either Inuyasha or goddamn George Lopez. Oh my god. <laughs> That woke me up, and I hate it. I hate his ugly, fat head. Well, yeah. Only because my guy. dad has a sim only because my dad has a similarly uh, like fat head. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> fuck that guy and fuck Sneaky's dad. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> like my dad's cool though. Like oh, okay, dad's cool. You know. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, like don't worry. No offense taken. <laughs> I just. I'm just trying to get social cues. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, like it's 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 weird talking about it now because the world of anime twenty years ago and the world of anime now is like so different, so incredibly different that it's like it's like what are we 
oh man, it's like, wow, how? If you were to tell me, actually, like as, as a child, 20 years ago, what is happening like right now with the world of anime, I'd be like, no, absolutely not. There's too many choices now too, yeah. I think that's part, yeah. part of that is like, what, what is happening with um, just like the state of the anime industry in, in general? I think that there's gonna be, there's a huge bubble right now and it will pop and it won't be good. But the, the anime deserve, the anime industry and the people who work within the anime industry deserve, um, deserves more. They deserve. Easily. They, they, they deserve, deserve so, so much more. more. So I, it needs to, it needs to die in order to be reborn, I guess, is my, 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 my way, way to think about it. But. No, I would, yeah. I, I would absolutely agree with you. Like, for how much work and how much money that these mangakas pull in, and, like, how much they kill themselves for, yeah. like, these big businesses, like, it's it's an absolute joke, you know? And I, I get that there's, like, a difference in culture and lifestyle and, mm. you know, like, a vast history that feeds into that. I get it. Yeah. But, man, it it's so unfortunate how much they can be exploited because of it. Like, and my heart goes out for them because, like, it's... Yeah, I, mm, it gets me so mad. <laughs> yep, and I agree. I absolutely agree. It's not, it's not fair, you know. Yeah. Like they, like people are killing themselves over it, and it's it's fucking stupid. The the money's not going to the right people. <laughs> like yeah. it goes. And, like, yeah, people are killing themselves and getting death threats. Like yo, mm -hmm. chill. It's not just death threats. It's like literal yeah. dying. You know what happened to Kiwani back in 2019. Yeah, like, yo, it's it's just a picture, man. Mm. Chill. Yeah, and it was like a, oh, you stole you stole my story, and therefore I'm going to kill all of you, and like actually killed a bunch of people. Like that was fucked. That was so fucked. Like that shook the anime industry to the core. Jesus yeah. fuck. Like, and don't get me wrong, the anime industry needed to like needs to be shaken, but mm. not no. like that. No, no, like, no, not, that's people. not like that. That's people. That's not yeah, like, the people... same. Yeah, people who had likely had nothing to do with it. Yeah. You know, Precisely. like if you have beef if you have beef with someone, take it up with them. Yeah. Don't drag innocent people who have like family and children that they're trying to provide for. Like that's nah. Yeah. Precisely. A absolutely not. Keijo being cancelled is a failure of industry, for example. I mean, I feel like it's like a very different comparison and perhaps. Um, Keijo being cancelled and like what people did to the creator was not fair whatsoever. Not fair whatsoever and that was really stupid and I feel so bad for them because I know that they don't want to create anymore because of it. That, that, that just hurts dude. That just hurts. Yeah. It's not good. Especially like there's an, mm -hmm. there's a number of mangakas who if they're like, you know what? Like, I'm done because of like the industry and how insane fans are like it's I, i'm done i i wouldn't blame them it would hurt yeah but just power to them yeah and it it's tough what happened with keijo keijo basically like okay so uh keijo basically ended up like oh uh the anime only sold like 715 units of blu-ray and they informed him it was like incorrect and it totally sold more than that but he's like oh the the reason why is because like my my skill is terrible and it's all my fault and he wanted more assistance and everything uh, but they couldn't find him anything and then he ended up doing so much work that he passed out and it was just like so it was just so bad it was like oh it's it's doing terribly because of my own my own skills and then he just like stopped he just couldn't do it anymore it was just really it was really it's really depressing to see stuff like that i don't like that also fox heck yeah moving to japan we're gonna get we're gonna get more vtubers over here more more english vtubers <laughs> heck yeah <laughs> but yeah no it's interesting such a shame IP was really, really well paced and done. I'm glad. Like, I never watched Keijo. Um, but, like, the... The fact that it was a serialized manga in the first place is, like, huge. Um, 
Yeah. I, I, I wish that they eventually one day find pride in that. Mm. But, yes. Yes. That is, that is the dealio. That is the dealio. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I will say right now, just you know, since we're since we're nearing uh since we're nearing three PM for me and I've gotta finish all the all of my shipping stuff for today. I think that we should end it here. Uh or like start to close down pretty quick here, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's I love fine by me. I love <laughs> this conversation. I want to continue this as soon as possible. Um and I think yeah. that we'll we'll have a really big anime conversation when I start to build our new Gundam on Sunday as well. So please look forward to that. I love you guys so much. Um, today was really fun and a huge, I want everybody, everybody to give me some bee, the like, cheer bees in chat for the lovely Sneaky who came all this heckin' way, all the way over here to my Japanese classroom in order to help me roll my R's just a little bit better. I'm gonna practice every single day and you can see me get better in real time. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm just a wandering bear. I'm in and out. <laughs> I'll wander back around again. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, every bee. Oh, yes, that's exactly right. So many bees. So many bees for this cute bear. See, look! Ah, <laughs> uh, stop that. You'll make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, every bee. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and look and see who we can raid really quickly here. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you very much for hosting me, uh, Kumarin. I, I appreciate this. This has been a fantastic experience. Just just chilling and teaching. You know, <laughs> sometimes that's all you need. A little bit of chill, a little bit of teaching. A hell of a lot of fantastic anime taste. I take that. I take that. Uh, sometimes you really just need a good conversation. I'm always down to collab with good things like that. When you decide that you do want to do a whole bunch of B and B stuff, I mean D and D stuff, um, <laughs> in the future, please nah. be sure to let me nah. know. I'm I'm very interested. I know my time zone stuff is a little bit funky because I'm in um you know a completely different country, but you know um. I want to be around for that if I can. And if we can't, no problem. I want to watch the vibes. So you got to let me know. No, that's fine. Uh, like, I'll get it. I'll get it sorted out. We'll call it. We'll call it B and B. You know, bears and bees. <laughs> bears and bees. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Yeah. Uh, you know, who knows? We may stream it. I. I don't care one way or another if it's streamed or not. But yeah, I. I'd love to have you and uh, you know, walk you through that too. <clears throat> That'd be super fun. Um. Yeah. Honestly, anytime you want me to, you know, just hang out in the stream, collab or anything. I generally stream Tuesdays and Saturdays. I'm willing to give up one of those days to collab, especially with good company. I, it's no big deal to me. I'm so I, glad. I'm, I'm going to make a habit of uh, doing what I want as a streamer, so it's like, yeah, whatever, we're just going to have some fun today. That's the way you got to <laughs> do it. If you're not doing what you like, then you're not going to do it at all. That's what I say. Every B, thank you so much for today. And seriously, big thank you. I still agree that you should do some bedtime story streams in the future because your voice, your voice is so fucking, so fucking good for that. Need some bedtime streams, bear time streams. Let's go. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll set up some bear time streams and uh, I'll try to catch it early enough in the morning for you to go to bed, and it'll be the words and uh, the sounds will drip like honey, oh. smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. You deserve some good fishies for that. Go ahead and feel free to stay on call. I'm going to just quickly duff in on my end. Thank you so much, everybody. Mwah! Uh, we're going to raid Didi today. We're raiding Deep Motherade. I am actually not too sure what we are playing. We're playing Hollow Knight. Oh, hell yeah, we're playing Hollow Knight. Yes! Yes! Thank you so much for joining us for today. I did the... <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. Um, be sure to, if you can, um, have a have a good snack, have a good nap, and I'm going to leave you with a big, lovely, wonderful, happy, snuggly. Bye, bee. Oh, my darlings, my bees, I don't have a schedule right here, right now, but I'm going to make one. I promise I just need to actually send back my SSD before I do anything else today, so I'm going to do that first. On my end, I want you to... Oh, right, that's the wigglies and stuff I've changed. I need you to change 
the uh wait yes that's it that's it that's the wiggly the wiggly boys yes they work now they work now ha ha okay before we go wednesday stream with taiji sunday stream with gundam upside from that probably something else we're figuring it out i love you guys so much have a wonderful nap bye bye